Welcome to my workshop. I'm Dave from Treasure Divers. This is a toolbox talk about pressure testing your outboard gearbox. We had a situation whereby we needed to pressure test our gearbox. We'd had it apart to change the impeller. When putting it back together, uh, I dislodged the shift shaft. So that was all put back in, but I wanted to make sure that everything was kosher. Because if you get, if you don't have a, an airtight seal in your gearbox, you will get water ingress or you will lose your oil, one of the two, or both. And that can be catastrophic. It's, gonna, it's a new gearbox. As I'm a subscriber to uh, Dangar Stu over in Australia, this is his channel. I'm not really good at um, putting links and stuff on YouTube, so that's all I can do, I'm afraid. We, um, we followed his uh, advice on pressure testing and we decided to buy a couple of components and make our own. And this is what happened. So we brought two components on eBay. We brought uh, this handheld bleed tester set. That was £10.95. We also brought a Quicksilver gear lube pump. Now that was 11.95. So for the both of them, it was a total cost of 23 pounds, which if you're in the United States, that's $30. And if you're in Australia, that's $40. So as you can see, it's a lot cheaper than buying a purpose-made pressure tester. So all, all we wanted off of the um, Gilu pump was the bit of pipe and the actual piece that screws into the gearbox. So we join those together and voila, we've got our pump. It comes with various attachments so it'll fit just about all gearboxes on all makes of outboard. And here we are draining the oil. Now that oil looks like it is, has been contaminated, it looks emulsified, but it's not, it's actually, I think it's just new oil. So they drain the oil, put the plug back in, screw in your pressure tester. This one is actually not pushing air into the gearbox, this one is actually pumping it out. So this is making a vacuum. But I can't imagine it's any different to actually putting the air in. It holds it, that's the main thing. As you can see, it's holding the pressure. It, it didn't move, that needle didn't move for about three minutes, which I think is long enough for a pressure test. Now the one good thing about this uh, little pump here we've got is it's got a handy little release valve underneath it. There's me getting a bit excited, putting a bit more pressure in. Just to show that it doesn't move. It's not losing anything at all, so it's definitely airtight. So like I mentioned, it's got a little, a little button underneath for releasing the pressure. Might come back to that. Here we go. Right, there's a little button. So you press that and that releases the pressure. Now I wanted to double check that it wasn't just releasing pressure from the little brass cylinder, that it was actually effectively pressurizing our gearbox. So I did a second test. this time. Getting brave. See, it doesn't move. So this time I released the pressure from the actual gearbox connection.
and you can hear it straight away hissing out. So I'm pretty happy that we actually have performed some kind of pressure test successfully. So there you have it. We're quite happy that that is a successful way of pressure testing our gearbox for 23 pounds or 40 US dollars. No, 40 Australian dollars. 30 US dollars. See, I'm getting too big for my boots. I shouldn't even bother trying to convert figure to currencies. Anyway, thanks for watching. And you can check out all our endeavors, all our searches for the Albemarle and the lost treasure of the Albemarle at YouTube slash Treasure Divers. Thanks.